Good morning. I've often referred to my love of silence and the wide open spaces. And you know, it's a funny thing that in contrast, I never get bored in these places. Now how can that be? That silence is never boring. Well, the truth is that there's well, like today, I don't know if you can hear, there's a lovely little stream just just uh, running down to my right. I wonder if that comes out on the video. Lovely sound, I could listen to that all my life. In some ways it just accentuates the stillness behind it, doesn't it? The silence of the hills. I suppose because silence gives us space, doesn't it? And space gives us the space to be ourselves, to, to uh, expand. Yes, that's it, really. And it's in that expansion that we expand beyond the... It's the ego that's so boring, this incessant little voice that goes on about <coughs> me and my own concerns and my worries and my fears and uh, what's going to happen to me. <coughs> that's really what's such a pain and uh, and uh, God, don't we get fed up with it when other people talk like that <laughs> we, we all think our own is interesting other people's is boring but <laughs> but our own's pretty boring also once you get used to listening listening to, to it uh, you know with a bit of swung step backwards that by the way is a is an essential step in spiritual development, this observation, first of all, of our bodies, and then a bit more, a bit more complicated, observing our thoughts. And once you really get in the habit of observing this, this uh, play of the mind, really, so much of it's just like a gramophone record, isn't it? Repetitive, just going on and on about the same themes. It, uh, it's a great help, really, in letting go, is just to observe how boring we are. <laughs> and how most of the things that come out of our mouths are really just plain stupid. <laughs> I'm just going on and on about the ego, um, about me. What a relief when someone stops talking. If we come in our own mind, can come to rest. And just in the same way, just as the silence out here in the fields can help you expand with your own mind. At least when you get so bored with your own mind that you just <laughs> that you just let go. You can't stop it. That's the trouble. A lot of people try to control their mind and sort their mind out, which is pretty hopeless. You can't. Really. You just got its own machinery. It just goes on. But once you get in the habit of just lifting up and going beyond this, I've often illustrated just like a balloon going up through clouds. You see, think of the mind as clouds, and you're just in a balloon. You don't care what the clouds are, whether they're thick or thin or dark or whatever they are. It just doesn't matter. You just go up in your balloon. And, and how do you go up in a balloon, by the way? By just letting go, don't you? Let go of the weights. So that's just this, it's meditation. You just let go, let go of the weights. And up goes the balloon. And then you look down and you see this phenomenon of the mind just thinking away. And you think, oh, well, it's just clouds, isn't it? That's just the mind. And then you, look, and you go on to something better. You know, the higher consciousness. That's freedom, really. It's, 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 you, you'll never control the mind, but it's much easier just to go beyond it. And in any, any good system of meditation, will act like a balloon, take you up. So, we, so then, of course, if you live in a place like this, you can come out to the silence of the fields, and that is reflective of the silence you find within yourself. Space, my dear, space, freedom is what we all want, isn't it? And you know, there's another secret, because absolute freedom is absolute love, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> Real love isn't, I love you, two egos. Well, that is for a while, isn't it, until something goes wrong, which it usually does. But the real love is, is synonymous with freedom, which is just this.